In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to keep specific columns or rows in place in your spreadsheet. We're also going to discover how to print those out. Here we have our personnel database, and as you can see, we have pages and pages worth of names, addresses, and everything associated with that type of database. Uh, the problem is, once you keep scrolling down, you'll actually see that it gets a little bit more difficult to know what each row is. You could probably figure it out, but if you have to deal with even more columns, it's much more difficult. So you may not know what hours stand for. You may get hours and age confused if you go just one page down. So one thing that can be helpful is to be able to actually freeze this first row. And so in order to do that, simply come up to the view ribbon and under the window tab there's one called freeze panes to do that as a few different options we could freeze specific ones we could freeze the top row or the first column it doesn't really make any sense to freeze the first column in this one but the top row would help us out a lot so you can see a little dark black line has gone across that top row and now watch what happens when we go down. That first column stays perfectly in place so it's much easier to know what each one of these columns represent. Now that's great for seeing it on the computer but what happens if we hit print? If we come to print this out the first page looks great but go to the second page and that top row disappears and so we're left with the same problem if we print this out so let's go back to home and there's a way where we can get this row to print out on every page to do it click on page layout and in the page setup box come over right here to the little arrow where it says page setup click on that and then come to the sheet tab click on the sheet and then you see there's a few different areas you can control the one that we really want to focus on right now is the print area or I'm sorry the uh, the rows to repeat at top so you could also do rows columns to repeat at left but for right now you gotta click on rows to repeat at top and select all the rows we're interested in right there which is just one and one uh, you could print out uh, the first two or three rows if you have subcategories or something like that. But one and one is all we need. Hit print preview. And now you can see it's here on the first page. Click down. It's there on the second page, the third page, all the way down. So that will make it much easier to keep track of all of that and to make sure what you want to organize is actually there. Uh, some other things you can control in that page setup dialog box if we go back to page layout and page setup say that you wanted to print the uh, grid lines you can click that because by default these lines are not there so some people may find that a little bit uh, distracting all the way down but by default it's not there now we have it selected we click print preview and now each one of the cells is separated so it's the same as putting a small dotted border around it so that's something that you may or may not want to do by default Excel has it turned off but it's a very easy thing as you can see to turn it back on